Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Asana to Notion in 2024. So today, we're diving into the world of integration between Asana, which is your trusted projects management tool, and Notion, which is the versatile workspace platform. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect Asana to Notion in 2024. So let's enhance the collaboration and organization across your projects and workflows, and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end, so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure, make sure to go to the URL section, type asana.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen and main screen. Of course, of course, if it's your first time, you'll be taken to a page like this. So make sure if you have an account to go at the top right corner, click on login to login into your account. And if you don't have one, simply just click on get started to create a new account for your own. Of course, you can even click on get started in here on the middle to create an account. If you're interested about the pricing, here's it. You can pause the video and read this all by your own. This is for individuals and small teams. So pause the video and read the features with the plans, the prices. Of course, they have a free one. And for businesses and enterprise, you can go and check it by your own again. So if you don't know nothing about Asana, you can simply scroll down here to read the more information about it and to have general idea about it or whatever bits like information that may be uh, good for you to know before even creating accounts. As you can see, you can even connect this over 300 integrations. If you click on see integrations here, see all integrations, you'll be able to see all the integrations that they have. So we can look for Notion in here before even creating an account to see if it's possible. And for me, I'm already like logged in into my account and we'll see everything here if there is or not. So once you're logged in into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. What you'll need to do, make sure to finish this step to get started as you can see. For me, I'm still did not, I still did not finish it. I just like create a new account because they give you 13 days free trial on every account. So my last account ended the free trial. So I'll have or I had to create a new one. So for you, what you'll need to do, I'll just go and open a new tab. You'll have to go to the Asana Marketplace. So to do so, for me, I used to do this, which is asana.com slash apps, which will take me to the Asana Marketplace right away. And here, we'll have to install the Notion integration for Asana. So as you can see, a lot of apps that we can search for. So as you can see, look how, much, how many. How can we search through all of that? So you can use these filters in here instead of all apps, or there is a thing that I'd like to do, or I like to do always, which is just hit on your keyboard, control F, and type the thing that you want to look for, which is Notion in my, uh, in my video here. As an example, once I type Notion, I have six like uh, results. I can go through all of them. So Notion is written here, here, here also, here, here, here. So they have, it seems, two apps. One for preview and sync Asana tasks and projects inside Notion pages and database. And the other one to collaborate more effectively by automatically creating Notion pages in Asana, adding Notion pages widgets to tasks and preview in Notion page info in Asana. So look for whatever suits you, for whatever you want, depending on whatever you want from this connection. For me, I'll just use this one as an example. Why not? So simply, I'll just go and click on here. And before even going doing anything, make sure to go to Notion.com and create an account, first of all, if you don't have an account. And if you have an account, just go and log in into it so you don't have to log in while you are doing anything. So, of course, you can log in with Google or Apple if, or even uh, if you are creating your account, you can create an account with Google or Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So, as you can see for me in here, uh, I'm logged in into my account now, into my Notion account. So, of course, Notion plus Asana, review and sync Asana tasks and projects inside Notion pages and database. So, looking for other Notion Asana solution, check the Asana native Notion integration here, which is the other one that I told you about. And as you can see here, what is Notion? So, Notion is a digital workspace that helps you plan, work, and build with others the way you want. So, with more than 20 million people, and hundreds of thousands of teams around the world, Notion consolidates everyday tools into one shared collaborative state. 
Why Nation plus Asana? Asana powers businesses by organization work and one connected space. Notion integration with Asana allows you to improve collaboration and stay up to date by viewing the status of Asana projects and tasks as link reviews or synced in a database. Then use the database filters, view, rollups, and relations to connect it across your workflows. How to connect it? You'll basically hear how to set up the integration, Asana link preview. When you paste Asana link and a Lotion doc, for the first time, you will see a button says connect to Asana. Once you click on the button, you'll be redirected to authenticate your Asana account. From there, you'll be able to see content from link you pay pasted directly into the Notion doc. Continue pasting links from Asana to it tasks to view them in Notion workspace. You can manage your connection between Asana and Notion in your Notion workspace and the settings and members menu under My Connected Apps. And Asana Synced, of course, Data Synced, you'll be able to. And Asana copied link to projects or task, uh, paste link into Notion, and selects past database, and empty database with a present list of properties will show up to your page. It will show up in a Notion table. View all Asana properties automatically added. The database will begin populating automatically and will continue to sync if you navigate away from the page. And yeah, so now you can simply go and click on install a Notion uh, for Asana. So once you do so, you'll be taken right here. As you can see, discover new connections, which is my connections. You can see all, and you will have again to look for the Asana one. Again, if you don't want to look, so. Just use this, control F, as you can see, Asana, I type it, I find this right here. So thank you. Click on connect. And I'll have to simply grant permissions. I don't have to log in because I'm already logged in. As you can see, if you authorize Notion, you will give permissions to access your name and email address, access your task projects in workspace, create and modify tasks, projects, and comment on your behalf. So click on allow if you agree. If you don't, click on deny, but that will not let you connect to it. As you can see, Asana now is connected to your uh, Notion. Now you'll be able to create Notion pages from Asana tasks. If you manage Asana tasks with the Notion, uh, sync tasks updates between Asana and Notion, collaborate and share information effectively, streamline workflow with automation, and do a lot of other stuff. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to connect Asana to Notion in 2024, empowering you to seamlessly manage your tasks and projects across both uh, like platforms. So if you have a question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So if you have any uh, question uh, left, just drop it down there. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching. Happy organizing. And I'll see you in the next video. So goodbye.